Hi loves, welcome back to my channel. It's a girl B Steph and I'm back with another video. If it's your first time here, if it's your first time seeing me, then make your last kindly subscribe. Do those good stuff YouTubers ask you guys to do whenever we post a new video. Now, if it's not your first time here, hey loves, thank you so much for coming back to another video from me. Truly appreciate and I ride with you. Now, before you drop that comment and complain that your makeup, this one, that one, well, I had to film Instagram content. Now, if you're not following me on Instagram so that you actually understand what I mean when I say sometimes it's not in my power to like come up here with just my natural face like you guys want and like. I really appreciate the fact that you guys actually love seeing me on my natural face. Like it's like, it's very cute and I appreciate it. But we batch create, okay? I know the glam is like giving. It's cute. If you want to know how we achieve this, you can follow me on Instagram. That place is where we do makeup since YouTube algorithm doesn't like when we post makeup. They want us to do skincare. So it is skincare that we are going to do. But in today's video, it's been a minute we talked about skincare ingredients separately. We have this series where we talk about all skincare ingredients. Well, we have covered a lot. I was actually going through my YouTube to actually see how far we have gone. And it really hits me that we have covered over six skincare ingredient and i appreciate the fact that you guys actually find it interesting and you guys watch it so today we are going to be talking about elastic acid now when it comes to elastic acid it is a popular not so popular skincare active that a lot of people have found out and a lot of people are enjoying and a lot of people that still need it haven't found the need for it because they are ignorant of what elastic acid can do but in this video we are going to cover up everything about elastic acid how to use it what is made of who is to use it who is not to use it and how safe it is for our skin just everything in general when it comes to elastic acid of course if that's what you're interested to watch please do keep on watching elastic acid is part of the family of aha when it comes to aha aha is alpha hydroxyl acid in aha we have different active underneath it we have elastic acid we have madelic acid we have glycolic acid we have salicylic acid i'm not too sure of that but i just know that there are other there are many active or should i say few active under aha we have aha and we have bha that is a different acid on its own ha is driven from natural stuff like our milk our fruits our vegetables even down to our sugar elastic acid on its own is driven from milk that is why it is a very safe gentle exfoliant elastic acid is good when it comes to mild exfoliating of the skin now if you have realized that glycolic acid is harsh on your skin glycolic acid doesn't do well on your skin you can go on to using elastic acid it is a milder version of glycolic acid it is an acid that gently exfoliates our skin here by removing dead skin cells and leave your skin looking all smooth flawless and radiant now when you're using this active this is an active that should be used with caution because it is an exfoliant as much as i said it is gentle yes when it comes to the family of aha they are actually milder active but bha i would say that their active is kind of a little bit stronger in my own opinion though but some people can beg to differ it is very good it is an active that is very good for sensitive skin because it is mild on the skin now the most popular elastic acid out there is literally the amylatine lotion that contains elastic acid people talk about that lotion and it seems like is that the only product that elastic acid is found in no we have elastic acid in terms of serum we have elastic acid in terms of our face cream there are many products out there that contains elastic acid that actually do the work if you are someone that have tried glycolic acid and it didn't work for you in terms of exfoliating of your skin it was too harsh on your skin then you should try elastic acid it helps in removing of dead skin cells it helps in leaving your skin flawless and radiant but what you need to understand is that elastic acid is not going to lighten up your skin just in case you're looking for an acid that is going to lighten up your skin it's not going to do that it is a acid that will help to tackle dark spot hyperpigmentation as much as removing dead skin cell but that doesn't mean it's going to drastically lighten your skin and give you two shade or three shade lighter that's not the work of elastic acid it is mild on the skin it is good for all skin type it doesn't differ like dry skin sensitive skin oily skin can use it because it is driven from milk it's very crazy and funny the fact that all these are active that we literally think is made of strong chemicals is literally driven from basically that fruit that you're eating sugar milk and many other things you can think of for glycolic acid when i studied about glycolic acid i realized that glycolic acid is gotten from sugar cane i say what are you serious so that is just the good thing about all this acid in case you're someone that is struggling to use because it's called acid that's why you're struggling to use it on your face because you think it's going to damage your skin what of the long run effect this that that that, that i get it but elastic acid is very good 
for mild sensitive skin another very good thing when it comes to elastic acid is that it helps to improve skin texture now if you're someone that suffers from strawberry skin if you're someone that suffers from skin texture like your skin is not smooth your skin is basically rough that's just the word you need elastic acid in your routine it is best to use it as a body lotion if you're someone that is suffering from skin texture i understand that amlatin is very very expensive but i will literally and try my best to do my research on good body lotions out there that contains elastic acid because it just feels like it's only amlatin that contains elastic acid in terms of body lotion but i know that there are many alternatives it's just that the brand they're not smart enough to push it out there like amlatin does when it comes to this brand it's just like you all need to push your products they are good but people are not seeing it but in serum beauty formula have the elastic acid serum face fat lab have the elastic acid serum and they are quite affordable the last time i got it was 5500 to be very precise so it is very good i have used it in case you're wondering yes i just used it one time sha but it was not bad on my skin it was very very good on my skin but come on i can't use all the actives in the world right i'm a preacher of mind the amount of active you use so i stick to what i say but when i used it it was very good it does does the work it is mild it is not harsh it is just very okay but it is that acid that you have to be very patient this is not like an acid now that you will use and you say you will see results in like two weeks three weeks when it comes to elastic acid give it time it is going to review its effectiveness on your skin just be patient and consistent but as much as you're trying to be consistent elastic acid is to be used three times a week because it is an exfoliant and we all know that we're not supposed to exfoliate our skin all the time so cut it down to three times a week and considering it's an exfoliant best use at night don't be in a rush to use it in the daytime use it at night because exfoliation of your skin kind of make your skin very sensitive but not so sensitive depending on how well you exfoliate over exfoliating is what causes our skin to damage become sensitive and then become red and just damage our skin barrier but if you're very conscious of it you will get the good results from it but if you're not conscious of it you will see some people now i'm not even surprised elastic acid have damaged their skin as much as elastic acid is a very mild skincare active it have damaged some people's skin because they were careless with it if you're not conscious on how you use a product no matter how mild it is no matter how good it is it will damage your skin so it is very important you note this as well now when it comes to the percentage elastic acid is supposed to be in a product i would say for beginners start with five percent before you graduate as a beginner because as much as it is mild i don't know i keep i just keep saying this because i know that as i've said mild now you would think this is your time to go get it and overuse it no as much as it is mild it is very important to incorporate it gradually in your routine even down to common niacinamide if you're a beginner start incorporating it gradually don't just bombard your skin with it let your skin get a hang of it before you bombard your skin with it so you start gradually for the first week you go two times if possible once patch test whichever product it is if it's the serum especially if it's a serum form patch test please 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 it is very essential you do that don't take the risk of just applying it all over your face and then if your face or your skin reacts to it it's not going to damage your whole skin don't try that so this acid is actually a very good for all skin type dry oil combined sensitive it is just perfect for all skin type and yeah that's just basically it for elastic acid it is driven from milk it is under the family of aha it is an exfoliant it helps to tackle dull skin it helps to tackle hyperpigmentation it helps to exfoliate the skin so like it is an active that you should try out just in case you're looking for a substitute for glycolic acid and glycolic acid didn't work for you perfect if you have dark spots if you're trying to fade scars but it is a product or an active that you need to be patient with and very consistent three times a week best is at night for the best results and trust me you're going to enjoy it there is really not much to say about this active and i just wish skincare brands would start considering making more of this because there are a lot of benefit when it comes to this okay it's not only glycolic acid that we have it's not only salicylic acid that we have because that is like the two most popular exfoliants out there so yeah with all this being said we have literally come to the end of this video if you have any question leave it in the comment section i'll be glad to answer you till next time i hope to see you guys like share subscribe comment bye